It was a horrific crash caught on camera as a Hillsborough County school bus careened into an Odessa pond. 27 elementary school students were on board the bus and miraculously there were no serious injuries. Some of those children returned to their bus stop in the Nine Eagles subdivision this morning. A handful of them riding the bus for the first time since the accident. We've been hesitated, hesitating all week on whether we wanted to take the bus or not. Today was our first day back and um, we were going to ride in the car, but they saw their friends walking to the stop and they, they felt like they could do it. And so we were here. And going back to last week, there were a number of good Samaritans who called for help and plucked those children out of the water. A Nine Eagles guard was in the guard house and witnessed the accident. She's been reluctant to tell her story until now. It is an emotional interview you will only see here on News Channel 8. And Chip Wasowski is joining us now with the report. Hello, Chip. Well, good evening, Hugh Keith. Debbie Jackson tells me she spent countless sleepless nights following that accident last Friday. And she goes on to say she will never forget the sights nor the sounds that day. I was standing looking out the window and I saw the bus coming around the curve. And I knew he was going entirely too fast. About 350 feet away, I heard the kids screaming, and I knew he couldn't stop. Surveillance video captured Debbie Jackson running out of the guardhouse after the bus plunged into the water. I didn't actually vision the bus going in the water. I visioned how fast it was going and hearing the children scream. And I was helpless. I was helpless. She immediately called for help. I'm the guard at the Eagles, the Eagles front gate. A bus lost control. It's in the water with the kids. Please help. What's going on? A bus lost control. It's in the water with all the kids in it. It's, it's nine Eagles. Help. Oh, oh, God. Help came quickly, but not before Jackson sprung into action. She still can't believe no one was seriously hurt. There was definitely, definitely an angel with him. And those kids. He took out the top part of this tree. And you see where he landed. And just as soon as he hit water, he went over and the kids went underwater. She believes had it not been for multiple Good Samaritans, the outcome may have been different. Nobody hesitated. Everybody. When I started running, the, it, it was just like everybody jumped out. And Jackson was also one of the first ones on the scene to speak with the bus driver. He told her he couldn't stop that bus and was do, doing whatever he could to avoid those trees and other structures. As we now know, Keith, authorities do not believe there were any mechanical issues with that school bus. Well, Chip, we've, we've heard from some of the students, but how are the parents doing? I think some of the students are doing better than the parents. I know some of the parents had hoped to see a newer bus picking up their kids this morning. That didn't happen, but perhaps that is still in the works. Chip Osowski, live in Hillsborough County. Thank you, Chip.